a tutorial on Ulead Video Studio 11 Plus. So here we go, I'm gonna give her a tutorial. Okay, first off, double click on the icon. You just wait for something to happen. Up oh, there it goes. When this pops up, you wanna click on Video Studio Editor. And you wait for it to load. And there it goes, it loads. So, um, I'm not really sure what the top five things are that you want to learn, but here we go. Do you want to recover the previous project file? No. Um, so, first, I guess, I don't know, we can work with something here. First, what we want to do is we want to import the audio for a music video. So, in order to import audio, you go over here, and that's where you see that little thing. Sorry, I don't have my tripod with me. So you click on that, and you click on Insert Audio to Music Track. So then you go into here. I use LimeWire, but you know, you can go somewhere. Yeah, I'm bored. I'm just going to go and get into another project file. Okay, well you pick the one you like, and then it goes into the Music Track. The Music Track is the one with that little thing right here, Music Track. That's where your music goes. Voice Track, if you want to add like a voice and make it echo during the music that isn't already in your audio clip, um, you put your voice in there. That's the title track. That is the overlay track. That's more experience. And that is the main clip track, video track. To create more overlay tracks, you go over here. Um, you see these two little wheels with a check mark? Click on those, and you check off however many overlay tracks you want, but in this case, we're only gonna use one. So, we're gonna click cancel right there. So to open a project, you go into File, you go into Open Project, then you browse your files and take a look at I'm bored. Let's click on Request, and we wait for it to, you know, load. So, oh, there goes the video. It loaded. So, um, usually when you open your Movie Maker, it'll start out at this thing, and that just gets annoying. You can't do any editing there. So you go over there and you want to click on here to go to your timeline. See so pre-timeline. Um, to see the entire project, you will click on project. But if you want to see a clip, you click on the clip you want to see. And then it will automatically move to clip. And you press play and it will show you the clip that you have. Um, but if you want to watch the entire project, you click on project. And then you press play. And that's as far as I got, so when I want to stop it, I just press the play button again, or the pause button, whatever. Um, if you want to start over and go to the very beginning of it, you'll click on this. That's just to go, I think, um, clip by clip. Let's see, I never used that before. Uh, nope, that's just to move it like a little millimeter of a way. This is to repeat. I have no idea what that button does. This is the volume, the volume of everything. So if you want it to be extremely loud, just click on that. But if you want it to be like, you know, good, just do that. Do not touch these. They are the devil. I don't know what they do, but they're evil. See, I'm not professional with this, but if you want to watch a full screen of your video, you click on that enlarge, and your video gets enlarged, and then from there, you can press play. And there goes your video. To make it smaller again, you just uh, go into the corner and press minimize. Alright, um, so what we're going to do is... Uh, here's all your videos. In order to copy and paste a video, 
what you want to do, like, say you have a clip that you want to go repeating, like, say you want to make a lion bob his head, like I did in Kobu, shut me up. So, you click on the clip you want to copy and paste, you press, press, you hold down control, and then you hold down C, then you let go of that, the clip has been copied, then you hold down control and you hold down V, and then you're like, oh, where did my clip go? Why isn't it showing up there like Windows Movie Maker does? Well, because this is more advanced, so it shows up in your library. But to be sure like that your video clip will show up, whenever you're copying and pasting a video clip, you always want to click um, over here. Okay, let's see. Up here, they'll have that. So you click on that, and you always want to be in video. Well, I have different video chapter things, like right here is where I keep all my Lion King stuff. And that was when something went wacko. If you want to copy and paste an image, you go over here and here's all your images. And that's how. And you have to press Control C and Control V in this file. Um, let's see. Okay, to import a video clip, you click on that right there. Click on Insert Video. Uh, you go into your videos. Um, I'm going to go into my Arabian clips. I guess it also happens to have my Icelandic clips. So, to shorten a clip, um, you have to click on the clip, and then you'll see this yellow bar. So you'll move your mouse over here until you see that little arrow going on there. And you move it back. Oh, there it goes. I like to move my back pretty far just to get some stuff. And then it'll change and it'll show you um, what's going on. The interruption, I have to keep the kitten company. So he's going to be in this room with me. Go, lamb, go! Anyway. <clears throat> um, okay, so you got the whole lengthening and shortening part. And you just release the mouse when you want to get where you are. If you want to, like in order to cut the clips, what you do is you take your cursor. Right, right there you see your cursor. Move it down and you move it onto this. Oh, Move it onto that little uh, triangle thing going on there. You, let's see what side is that. Left click it, hold down. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't want the beginning clip, so what we're gonna do for the whole move your body thing is you take your mouse and you take your little scroller thing. We'll call this um, line the scroller. Timeline scroller. Um, and you hold down the left mouse clicky button, and then you drag it to the place you want to be. You release the left mousey clicky button, and over here you click on the scissors, and your thing is split. So you click on that, then you right click, and you click on delete, move it, kitty. And then your clip has been split. Um... And then to stop. And then to let's see, what else do you want now? Then you hold this. Stop. Okay, I have to throw the cat somewhere real quick. <laughs> Stay. Um. Okay, so for. The cool thing about Ulead is it lets you listen to the music at the pace you want to listen to it during your video making. Um, so I can listen to it real slow. Okay, you hold it there. You let it be there. Doing its thing. Then you click on the scissors. And then, again, you will go back down here, right click, click delete, okay? Um, down Liam, go away. Alright, um, that's the cool thing about that. 